this has been an exciting week, and I hope that you all enjoyed Virtual VBS Workshop. For those of you who haven't participated in our Virtual VBS, I've got some good news. It will remain on our YouTube channel, so you can enjoy the different videos anytime you want. Well, this summer we're taking a closer look at faith. And faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Sure, we can't see Jesus with our eyes, but we can put our faith in Jesus because we know who he is and what he's done. When we put our focus on Jesus, we start to understand how good he is. We realize that we can trust him completely. And that, my friends, is a gift. Speaking of gifts, I have some friends here today who are going to help us learn about faith and how Jesus is a gift for everyone. Let me introduce you to two of our friends. They're actually my nieces. This is, what's your Tyler. name? Tyler. We'll go ahead and tell them. Tyler. And you are? Charlie. And how old are you both? Eight. 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 They are twins, but they are here because they're going to help me show you guys a little bit about what it looks like to have faith, but also the gift of salvation. So you guys have a gift in front of you. And what I want you guys to do, it's a competition. It is a race. You guys are gonna have a race to see who can open up the, these gifts as fast as they can. You just tear it open, rip it right apart, and whoever can get to the present first is the winner. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> go! Go! Oh my goodness, Charlie! So close, Tyler, you're catching up! Whoa! Gotta get that ribbon off, gotta get the ribbon off! Oh, you're both so close! Oh, alright, hold your gift up when you're ready. Alright, keep going Tyler, we're going to let you finish. Alright, hold it on up. Oh, man, you know what? These are not the gifts I'm supposed to give you. Oh no. These are for someone else. Okay, okay, that's okay. I have a really good idea. Here's what I want you guys to do. Uh, we're going to change the game. Instead, this time I want you to rewrap the present. And whoever can wrap the present the best, so that it looks like no one has ever opened it, so I can give it to the real people who it's supposed to go to, they're gonna be the winners. So let's see. So I have some supplies. There's tape, scissors, sticky notes. And now what I want you guys to do, and I will move out of your way, you're going to rewrap these presents. These? Yes, using all the stuff, rewrap it, and make it look like no one ever opened it. Are you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Time to rewrap those presents in three, two, one, go! anything to do with your personalities. <laughs> I'm not quite sure here. Um, but we have Charlie's over here and we have Tyler's over here. While I am very impressed, I would have to say I'm not quite sure if anyone would be convinced that these gifts were never um, really opened. But I'm impressed because this is far better than I could have ever done. So why don't you two take a little table bow and we'll just give you an applause. You did a very, very, very good job. Um, but ladies, I have a confession to make to you. I totally set you guys up. This wasn't a real game. And these gifts aren't for anyone else. I thought that this would be a good way to show all of our friends out there how Jesus is a gift for everyone. How we all need, um, we all need him as our savior and how Jesus rescues us. So let me explain. Sometimes we feel like we have to fix things when we've, when, when we've done something wrong. So we don't ask for help and we don't let God fix anything. We try to fix it 
ourselves. We might try to make up for what we've done wrong, and we can try to cover it up by doing good things, like the tape we see here. Or we can even try to hide it from others, and we can try and do a lot of good things to make up for the bad things we've done. But the truth is, none of, none of that makes the bad things go away. And as you can see, we had a perfect gift before, and no matter how much we tried to fix it, it's just not the same, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why Jesus, God sent Jesus. You don't have to do everything perfectly, even though we try, right? God loves you and accepts you, no matter what you've done or will do. You can't work to earn his love. See, everyone messes up, and <laughs> everyone, it's easy for us to think that everyone else seems better than us, but they aren't. We all mess up and make mistakes. And that's why God gave us the best gift ever when he gave us Jesus. Let's go to the Bible now and take another look about what Paul um, did and his story. Let's pick up where we are in God's big story. We're talking about what happened with the people who believed in Jesus after Jesus died, came back to life, and went to heaven. We've talked a lot recently about a man named Paul, who was also called Saul. Now, Paul traveled around and shared the good news of Jesus everywhere he went. Paul traveled around and shared the message of Jesus with people all over the place. He also wrote a bunch of letters to encourage the believers in different churches. Many of his letters became books of the Bible, and one of Paul's letters was to the people of Ephesus. He, we call it the book of Ephesians. Let's read a part of it now. Let's take a look at Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. And it says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Now, I bet the Ephesians really needed to hear that. I know I do. You see, we all mess up. We all do things that we're not supposed to do. We all fail at things, and we all make mistakes. And that can really make us feel crummy sometimes. When we look at the people around us, that can make us feel like we've messed up. We think, I wish I could be more like him, or she always does everything perfectly. Let's take a closer look at the beginning of that verse. It says, God's grace has saved you because of our, your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. So let's stop there. Salvation is God's gift. That means that when we put our trust in Jesus, God forgives us of all the wrong things we've done and will do. When we put our faith in Jesus, we believe that he died on the cross to pay the price for our sins. He paid the price for every single sin we have already committed and every sin we will ever commit in the future. Jesus did all of the work of paying for our sins. We didn't do anything. That means that there's nothing we can do to earn God's love. And there's nothing we can do that will cause him not to love us. Jesus paid for our sin and made us right with God. And that is a free gift. Jesus is a gift for everyone. He fixes the mess we've made and turns it into something beautiful. Of course, as we follow Jesus, we're going to mess up. When we do, we can say we're sorry and accept God's forgiveness that we have through Jesus. We should always try to live the way God wants us to. We should try to make the right choices, the wise choices, and we should try to treat people the way we want to be treated. We should um, always do our best to treat others with love and kindness. But when we don't do those good things just to earn something, 
We do those good things because we already know how much God loves us. Every day we can choose to live His way because we're so thankful that He loves us. We don't try to do those good things to earn it, but we do it because we're thankful that He sent Jesus to be our Savior. And that's the great news. Jesus is a gift for everyone. Let's remember today that Jesus is a gift for everyone. Jesus is the one who allows us to have a relationship with God. He is the greatest gift we could ever receive. Since the very beginning of God's big story, people were waiting for a savior. At just the right time, God sent his son Jesus. And when Jesus died on the cross, he paid the price for our sins. He made a way so that everything could be right between us and God, and we could be with him forever. So remember, salvation is God's gift. God loves you, period. He made you. He has a good plan for your life. And there's nothing you can do that will separate you from his love. There is nothing that you can do that will make him love you any more or any less. He sent Jesus so that we could have a relationship with him that will last forever. Some of you here today have already put your faith in Jesus. And some of you are still learning and discovering more about who he is. As you are still figuring out what you believe, the great news is that every day you can discover more and more about how much God loves you. That's why we come together each week so that we can discover and learn more about God's amazing love together. Please pray with me. Dear God, we just thank you for your love. We thank you for the salvation that we have through Jesus. We know that it is not something that we can earn, but it is a gift. And we thank you for loving us no matter what. Help us to admit when we mess up and to ask for forgiveness and help us to live in a way that is in gratitude and thankfulness for your love and for the gift of your son, Jesus. We ask these things in your son's name, amen. I wanna leave you with an assignment this week, something fun for you to do to help you remember that Jesus is a gift. Draw your least favorite dinner on a paper plate, like Tyler and Charlie are doing, or what they've already done. Include all the things that you do not like to eat, but usually have to in order to have dessert. So let's see what you girls have on your plate. Charlie. I have an apple and broccoli. Apple and broccoli. All right, so I'm not a huge fan of broccoli either, but I do like the apple to each their own. So, all right, let's check out Tyler's plate. Tyler, what do you have on your plate? Broccoli, circle peas, and long peas and salad with tomatoes on it. Mm. So uh, I noticed that you have a lot of green things on your plate. So maybe the greens are gonna be like for some of you guys, greens aren't your favorite things, but you have to eat them in order to have dessert. All right, when you're done drawing on your paper plate, think about this. This week's verse talks about grace. Grace means that God forgives us even when we don't deserve it. So what does grace have to do with dinner? Imagine your mom or dad serves you all of your least favorite things for dinner. Grace is like not eating this dinner and still getting dessert. Grace is given to everyone who puts their trust in Jesus, no matter what they've done. It's a gift. All right, well, I hope you have fun, and I can't wait to see you all next time. Bye. Bye.